Hello, this is Rocket Labs Kitchen where we have hot coffee and an industrial robot. I would like to show you five new things from Rocket Labs Kitchen. The first is the new Stinger robot, uh, which is a smaller and more compact arm uh, compared to the Rocket. It will have a nice base as well, just like the Rocket. The second thing is our new hand controller. Now this is a prototype, but it has got nice features combined with uh, those robots. The next thing is uh, the Autodesk Maya software, which has got the nice Mimic plugin. And now uh, we are compatible with the Mimic plugin. So we can design the robot's movements with the Mimic and uh, we can just feed this data into our motion control software uh, called Ignition, which can interconnect uh, devices, softwares, and a lot of things uh, which uh, aren't meant for communicating with each other. And the last thing is uh, the Unreal Engine compatibility uh, with Ignition. Okay, so we have that software called Ignition. This is our development. We have a protocol called Fuel Transport. Fuel Transport uh, is a dynamic library. So if you would like to have it uh, in your application or whatever application which can be programmed uh, by C++, Python, C Sharp, Unreal can be programmed by C++. Maya can be programmed by C++ and Python. From that point, Fuel Transport is compatible with those softwares. Windows, OS X, Linux, uh, ARM-based Linux, iOS and Android as well. We add a new network interface, which will be listening for Fuel Transport nodes. As I hit OK, this list starts being populated. I will add the node of Mimic. This is a plugin which created by Autodesk Robotics Lab. We just insert this robot node into the scene. Uh, we can see that uh, all the individual axles has its own numbers and uh, bars. As I move it around, uh, the numbers are changing on the fly. So we have the data in Ignition in no time. We have set up a scene in Unreal, which consists two robots. One has the camera, one is just for showing what's going on with the robot itself. So I add this node into the scene, I just get this data from my robot and I will connect to the Unreal robot node. Now the data flow is going on. So as I just drag the robot here, as you can see it synchronizes all the datas uh, on the fly. So it's quite fast, uh, it's just up to the rendering. What if I would like to move the real robot? The robot sits on EtherCAT network because uh, EtherCAT is meant for industrial controlling and it's reliable, fast and, uh, and it has got low jitter. So we decided to incorporate EtherCAT, uh, direct EtherCAT support uh, into Ignition. So. <sighs> Uh, I just select the network port uh, and I add it. Now we can see that we have the Stinger and uh, I add it to the scene. And Stinger has an input and an output as well. The input is for the set points, the target, uh, where the robot has to move. And the output, because we have some filtering and a little delay and so on, we have an output which contains the actual axis positions. So I just get this data out and I connect with the Unreal robot. So I activate the robot by enabling this scene. I just hit E. As I hit S, the physical robot starts to synchronizing with the input data. I hit the plus button and I give some override uh, to make, make it move faster and faster. And as I drag the robot 
in Maya, as you can see, uh, the robot is moving. The synchronization is working. In Unreal, uh, instead of we seeing the movement from Maya, we are now synchronizing with the robot. So we always have the real position. I clicked 10 times and uh, I have the system working. Okay, so now we have set up uh, all the scenes uh, in Unreal and Maya and uh, we hooked up everything in Ignition. But uh, what if we would like to have some more intuitive control than just drag the object in Maya and move it around with your mouse? So for that reason, we designed and developed a prototype for moving the robot in a more intuitive way. When I activate it, by pressing down a button. So I have to hold down a button if I would like to have it working. This is the well-known pen bar solution. But if I release this, and put it on my shoulder. For sure, you can record this movement and you can play back as many times as you want. And as I release the button, it stops moving. Now, obviously, this is only a prototype, but so far, so good. How the connection looks like between the handheld controller and Maya? I have a post command node. The post command node is a plugin in Maya, which has the fuel transport uh, protocol as well. So this is another channel how we can communicate with Maya. I just added the scene. It has translation inputs and rotation inputs. Uh, we have an input which uh, consists all of the rotation and the uh, translation as well. And I have a node for the post tracker. And the post tracker is that device what I moved around. So I connect those two nodes together and with this connection we already hooked up the scene. Thanks for watching, we will go back to the lab to develop some new stuff.